If confirmed, Katanji Brown Jackson will make history as the first black woman appointed to the Supreme Court. And today, black attorneys here in Metro Detroit not only applauded the nomination, but are speaking out about just how inspirational this is for future generations. Priya Mann joins us live tonight. Priya, they say this nomination is long overdue. Yeah, that's right, Kim. This is the first black woman to be nominated in the Supreme Court's 233 year history. The first attorney you're going to hear from is also a professor at EMU. She teaches a class called Law and the African American Experience and says we're witnessing history unfold in real time. I'm just so excited. I just, she's a real sister too. So she is just like, this is this is beautiful as an African American attorney for in practice for over 20 years. This is amazing. Members of the Black Women Lawyers Association of Michigan are overjoyed with the historic nomination of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. What's the impact when when you see somebody that looks like you, a brown person up there, you're like, oh, hey, I could do that. I could do that too. Our organization is focused on trying to bring up, retain, mentor African American women and men moving into the to move into the field of law. And with this, this is such a booster. It gives encouragement to uh, uh, young lawyers or lawyers that are out there. Our population is only five percent of the lawyers are African American, and so. Um, I think it makes a world of difference. They say criticizing the president's promise to nominate a black woman discredits qualified candidates who just so happen to be black and female. It's not even an issue of qualifications. She was a clerk for Justice Breyer. She went to Harvard. I mean, come on. It's like it's long overdue. I promised the process would be rigorous, that I would select a nominee worthy of Justice Breyer's legacy of excellence and decency. We read about stuff in history and how things are going on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're living it right now, Priya. We're living, we're living it right now. And both attorneys say this is an important first step. They would like to see a black woman nominated for Michigan's Supreme Court. By the way, no date has been set for a confirmation hearing for Judge Jackson. Reporting live tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Okay, Priya, thanks.